Paris and its symbol, the Eiffel Tower. Il y a de l'orage dans l'air, il y a de l'eau dans le gaz entre le jazz et la jarre. Not only does it enchant people with its beauty, it is also a true miracle of engineering. The same applies to its solidity. The tower is capable of standing up to the strongest winds and shocks. Il y a de l'orage dans l'air, il y a de l'eau dans le gaz entre le jazz et la java. Quand j'écoute Béa, the source of the inspiration behind the Eiffel Tower is most interesting. The tower was inspired by the design of a bone in the human body. This is the powerful thigh bone which bears a major part of the body's weight. The anatomist Hermann von Mayer, studying the human skeleton in the early 1850s, realized something rather interesting. In an upright position, the thigh bone was capable of bearing a one-ton weight. And the bone was made up of tiny interconnected struts, like a cage. In 1866, the Swiss engineer Karl Kuhlmann realized that the structure of the bone rested on a very fine plan. These struts in the form of a cage reduce the effect of any weight or pressure placed on the bone. That is because they are arranged along the lines of force generated when standing. Kalman thought that this miracle of creation might also be used in modern architecture. And the Eiffel Tower was constructed with cage-like struts, just as in the thigh bone. A miracle of God in the human body had formed the source of inspiration for technology. Information in nature is currently being used in a great many fields, from construction to the health sector. And this information has resulted in the emergence of a new branch of science, biomimetics. The science of biomimetics studies the designs in nature and creates solutions based on these designs. The reason why the designs in nature are so perfect as to inspire technology is that they are all the works of God. The Almighty God reveals examples of His infinite wisdom in the creatures He has created. In this film, we shall be seeing examples of the science of biomimetics and examining what a huge proof of creation nature actually is.